Why do some moons in our solar system have volcanoes, while others have frozen oceans? Let's explore these fascinating celestial bodies. First up we have Io, one of Jupiter's many moons. This moon of Jupiter is like a cosmic lava lamp with over 400 active volcanoes constantly erupting. Io's volcanic activity is the most intense in the solar system. Its surface is constantly changing thanks to an intense gravitational tug of war with Jupiter and other nearby moons. This gravitational interaction generates immense tidal heating, fueling its volcanic eruptions. Next, let's visit Triton, Neptune's largest and most intriguing moon. Triton orbits in the opposite direction of Neptune's rotation. Talk about a true cosmic rebel. This retrograde orbit suggests that Triton may have been captured by Neptune's gravity. It's covered in geysers that spout nitrogen gas, creating a stunning frozen wonderland. These geysers are driven by seasonal heating from the sun, and then there's Titan, Saturn's largest and most mysterious moon. Titan has lakes and rivers, but instead of water they're filled with liquid methane. Imagine the smell of that. Titan's surface is sculpted by these liquid methane and ethane rivers and lakes. Plus, Titan has a thick, hazy atmosphere and even weather systems that are similar to Earth's. The Huygens probe, part of the Cassini mission, landed on Titan in 2005, providing us with detailed images and data. These moons aren't just chunks of rock, they're dynamic worlds with unique geologies and fascinating atmospheres. From volcanic eruptions to frozen geysers and methane lakes, there's so much to discover in our solar system. So next time you gaze at the night sky, remember, each moon has its own unique story to tell. Stay curious, space enthusiasts. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders above and beyond.